right, so a couple things to kind of ground the conversation today. Um, the first piece is our mission, um, and I think people know what this is, but sometimes it's helpful to remember where we are now, even as we're gathering information about where we might want to be. Um, so Washington Central exists to nurture and inspire in all students the passion, creativity, and power to contribute to their local and global communities. Some more grounding work that we would like to have everyone have in their minds as they talk um, is these are three pillars that kind of inform everything we do at Washington Central. Those of you that are educators and staff in our system, you see this you know, whenever we gather together, you see a lot of your PD tied to these things. Um, but all of our work falls under one of these three things, and that's academic achievement, safe and healthy schools, and humanity and justice. Um, so we want those things in mind as we do our work. And why are we here tonight? So tonight's conversation um, is part of our strategic planning process. These are some words, it's, you don't have to read it, um, but the purpose of this, um, this has lots of phases, but the entire thing is a multi-year process. But we are looking to have a visioning and strategic planning process that really emphasizes engagement and equity and lifting as many voices as we can which is why you'll hear me say lots that um, this is not the only event and it's not the only type of event because this is wonderful um, and it's not the only way that we can get um, voices from our communities. And so we'll talk about that a little bit. But the goal is to create unity within our system and really have a common understanding of what you all think our students should have as part of our educational system. Here are our steering committee members. Do you want to raise your hands, those of you that are here? Thank you. Um, this is a great group. We've had some really great conversations, um, and we will continue to have great conversations, and we learn from each one of them, and we'll learn from this event, too. Um, so really appreciative of those who are giving up time to do this. And this is just a little bit to ground you. This is our. Uh, timeline and process, right, well, we're here, but I'll go back. Um, this first phase is really about um, I, I, big funnel community engagement, kind of hearing from folks about really high level core values, what do we want for our students. This will move into a really iterative process of processing that, drilling it down, sending it back out for feedback, engaging with the community, getting to some strategic goals. So this is kind of the long-term process. This is where we are now. And just as a, a teaser, and, and we're, we are still working on making sure we communicate this out really well. We'll, we'll get better at that as we go. Um, we know that not everyone can come to an event, so we will have different versions of this. We will also, every question that you're about to react to is also going to exist in a survey form that we will bring to our communities. These are some school-based events between now and the end of the year that we will bring it to. Um, and there will be community-based events that, that are community events that we'll drop into. Um, we'll also have conversations about do we replicate this in a virtual format? Do we, uh, do we have another event like this? So our steering committee will be debriefing after tonight. Um, but this is some some information. So, as you were walking in, and there's lots written on things, which is great, you were um, kind of reflecting on your core beliefs. So, what are core beliefs? What's a vision? I mean, people know what those words mean, but this is really about something that will give us a compass or a north star to help guide our decisions, guide our budget decisions, um, guide the work of what we're doing as we move forward. Um, and it's really important to be able to ground everything we do in what our community believes we should be doing. So part of our process is then turning that vision into action. So we'll be synthesizing words into a vision and core beliefs. We will send those back out to the community in multiple formats, um, and then we will continue to iterate. We know that we have opportunities and we have challenges in head. These, uh, if for many of you, knowing these are why you're here. Um, others are new to the process and you're um, here to engage in it. Um, 
But our challenge moving forward is figure out how do we stay true to our core values and vision, build on what's already happening in our schools that's going really well, build on what we're already doing, but also respond to changing conditions. We don't have a choice about our changing conditions. We know we have enrollment declining. Um, we know that our communities are facing the same economic realities that everyone else in the state is. And there are some things that have nothing to do with us about how education is funding, funding that we've had and we won't have anymore. Those are things that we're going to have to figure out how to react to. So when we respond to those conditions, we want to be able to do that, keeping our visions and values in mind. Um, and it's important to know that we're starting this way because we don't have preconceived notions about where we'll end up. We know we've got some things we have to respond to, but we want to know what the community wants for our schools. So today, we want your ideas.